Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I'm going to show you how to replace the front brake pads on any Mercedes-Benz Vito from the year 2005 and up. To begin what we have to do first is to lift the front wheel up. So as you can see I already placed my jack stand underneath the car and I lifted the front wheel up. And as you can see right here those are the new brake pads which I'm going to install on the car. They are made by Bosch and I also have to replace the wear pad sensor on these brake pads. So first, let's go ahead and remove the front wheel completely out of the car. To remove it, you'll have to use a 90mm socket, and in my case I'm using an impact gun, but if you don't have an impact gun, you would also use a normal wrench. After you remove the front wheel, what you have to do next is to take your 12mm socket and you'll have to remove one bolt from the top, then you'll have another bolt in the middle and you'll have the third bolt at the bottom which are securing the caliper mounted to the caliper mounted bracket. So you'll have two bolts at the top and at the bottom which are securing the caliper to the caliper mounting bracket, then you'll have another bolt which is securing the cable from the wear pad sensor. As you well can see, using a flat screwdriver will help you to push the piston a little bit and it will make the caliper come out very easy from the caliper mounting bracket. And I don't recommend you all to let it hang on the brake line because in some cases it can break the brake line because of the weight of the caliper. But in my case I'm doing this on my own risk. And as you well can see, you will also have to remove the slide spin. You will have two slide spin, one at the top and one at the bottom. And you will have to remove them and lubricate them very good. And only after that you can go ahead and put them back on the car. And as you can see, the one from the bottom is stuck, but I was able to remove it off camera. And after that, you'll have to put the rubber piece, which are covering the slice pin, which are helping the slice pin hold the grease inside there. So you'll have to put them in this way. And after that, you'll have to take each slide pin, you'll have to clean it very good, and you'll have to lubricate them with a special Vaseline uh, made special for these brake pads. And special for brake jobs. And as you well can see, you have to put it like this, you'll have to make it slide evenly. And after that, you can go ahead and clean the caliber mounting bracket. You'll have to put the metal parts on which the brake pads will slide. And after that, you'll have to push the piston inside the caliper. But I'm going to show you guys in a second what you have to do from here.
after you're done with installing the new brake pads and also the slide spin back on the caliper mounting bracket you'll have to push the piston back inside the caliper and to do so I recommend you all to take an old brake pad and you'll have to take your normal tool which will help you to push the piston back inside the caliper and you'll have to push it over the brake pad and in this way you will push both of the pistons in the same time back inside the caliper and you will be good to go this is a lot faster and also this is very easy if you want to do it in this way but if you don't want to use it in this way you could also use one piston at a time and push it inside the caliper completely separately Right now I'm done with pushing the piston back inside the caliper and as you can see I did push both of the pistons in the same time inside the caliper and the job is very good in this way. And from here I recommend you all to take a wire brush or anything which will help you to clean the caliper very good. I recommend you all to clean the piston and also the caliper because in this way you will know for sure that the job is done properly and you will not have any problems uh, due to the dust and uh, any debris inside the caliper in the future. And after that I recommend all to use some brake cleaner and clean everything up very good. After you're done with cleaning the caliper and also the parts from around it, don't forget to put your brake pad wear sensor. And as you can see, in my case, I like to put it on the brake pad from the interior, but you can put it in the whatever place you like. For example, if you want to put it on the brake pad from the exterior, you can put it right there. In my case, I like to put it on the interior because this is the way I like to do it. And from there, you'll have to put the caliper, you'll have to put it over and you'll have to put all the screws and secure the caliper to the caliper mounting bracket. As you can see, I'm done with replacing the front brake pads on this car. This is how everything is looking and also this is how everything should be looking on your car if you're deciding to do this job on your car at home and with normal tools. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video and find it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.